Hello everyone. Here in this quick Excel tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily enter the current date within any cell in your worksheet. I'm also going to show you a few tips on how to determine the number of calendar days in between two different dates. So uh, let's get started. In order to enter the current date in any cell, just click the cell you want the result to appear in, making that your active cell. Click and hold in the keyboard control key, and then click or press the semicolon key. And there you go, May 3rd, 2016, and that is in fact today's current date. We'll do that again. Click the cell you want the result in, click and hold the control key, and then click and release the semicolon key and release both keyboard keys. And there you go, there's the result. Uh, something else when it comes to entering dates into a spreadsheet is sometimes the formatting is not what you want or does not appear the way you'd like it to appear. So say I'm going to show you how to subtract or determine the number of calendar days between two different dates and I enter in the second date. Say I'm going to use February 14th, I'm manually entering that. And instead of giving me the month, day, year format, it just gives me the calendar day and month. Well, that has to do with the formatting. So in order to fix the date formatting, you can highlight the cell or the range of cells you want, right-click, and then choose Format Cells from the drop-down menu that appears. You'll see you have categories here, and there is a category for date. There you can select the date format that you like. I'll choose OK. It fixes that second date. All right. What we're going to do here is we're going to determine the number of calendar days between these two dates. Now, you have a few different ways of doing this, one of which is you can open up your physical calendar and manually count the days, which is uh, kind of tedious. Otherwise, you can use a simple calculation and a subtraction equation and subtract February 14th from May 3rd and get your result. So what you do is you click the cell where you want the result to appear. You start any equation or function or formula with the equal key. Once you've clicked that, let's click the first cell containing the value we'd like. You see it brings in the cell reference for column F, row 8. Then you hit the minus key because we're subtracting the second date from the first. Click the cell containing the second date. You see it brings in that cell reference and then hit enter. And we'll look at that. 79 days between May 3rd and February 14th. And you can open up your calendar and you can manually count it and you'll see in fact that is the correct result. To give it a try again, say we're going to say how many uh, shopping days until Christmas. So we'll put in the end date, 12-25. All right, see the formatting is not so great there, so uh, it's not exactly how we want it. We can right click, go to format cells, choose date, and OK. That's what we want. And then we're going to enter the, today's date. So the trick that we used before, holding the control key, click on the semicolon key. That brings today's date. I hit enter. It'll take me down a cell. Now I'm just simply going to subtract today's date from December 25th and see how many shopping days left until Christmas. So I'm going to start with the equal sign. Click in the first cell. Click the minus for subtraction. Click the second cell. Enter. 236 calendar days. you got time. I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful. If it was, please uh, like the video, check the other ones I have in the playlist, and uh, be sure to make any suggestions for any other topics that you feel would be helpful. Thanks. Take care.